Arena is being removed and Fortnite now has a new ranked mode coming in the next update 24.40. Initially, these are the ranks that are going to be put into the game. They go from Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Elite, Champion and Unreal. And as you notice, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum and Diamond all have three ranks within them each. And once you get to Elite, Champion or Unreal, there's just one rank per one. By the way, the fact that the top rank is called Unreal makes me laugh a lot. Something that's important to note is that there's going to be a separate rank for Battle Royale and Zero Build. So there's both going to be ranked for each mode, which is incredibly important for players who don't necessarily like to play the core Battle Royale mode, but love playing Zero Build. Now, the blog post doesn't necessarily say what ranks are going to go against each other and how the matchmaking is specifically going to work, but it does mention that once you reach Elite, you're going to prove yourself against other highly skilled players to advance to Champion and then finally to Elite. So what I read from that is that anyone from Diamond down to Bronze will be in one pool and then Elite, Champion and Unreal will maybe be into another, but we'll have to test and see later on when it actually comes out. In release, which will be next Tuesday, there's going to be the start of Ranked, which will be Season 0, and this is going to go till the end of the next season, so Chapter 4, Season 3, and then assuming this is just going to restart at the start of every season after that, it's going to be slightly confusing since it'll be Chapter 4, Season 4, but it'll be Season 1 of Ranked Mode, but whatever, this is the naming convention they've just decided to go with. Essentially, your starting rank will be based on the games that you've played already, and then that one initial ranked game you play. So the first ranked match that you play will be incredibly important in determining where you're actually going to be put. Now, one once you reach the highest rank, which is Unreal, you'll stay Unreal for the rest of the season. So you actually can't be ranked down underneath this. You can't go back to Champion or whatever the ones are underneath that. What this means is then you're going to be put into a leaderboard, which will be visible for all to see, similar to other games like Valorant. When you get into Radiant, you'll have a little rank next to your name to say exactly where you're situated. So I'm sure a lot of people will definitely start vying for that first place. Essentially, how this will work is in the lobby, you'll have the option to turn ranked mode on. But the real question is, how do you actually rank up? Now, how much your progress bar increases or recedes after a match will depend on a few factors. Your match placement, naturally, similar to tournaments and also arena, and how many eliminations you or your team get in the match. And this is actually based on two different things. Firstly, eliminations later in the match will count for more than eliminations earlier in the match. So hopefully this should promote players from not just dropping at hop spots and instead landing really anywhere in the map and playing for endgame. We'll see if that actually ends up being the case. The second part is that the ranks of the players that you or your team eliminated will also to be taken into account. So if you're a really high ranked player, W keying a really low level lobby, say if the match picking doesn't work that well, you're not going to be rewarded as much for keying that lobby. But if you end up losing a fight, you're going to be damaged much more on your ranking, which again should fingers crossed hopefully negate some of the W keying. Now, I'm not entirely convinced that this is going to create really stacked games by any means, but even if it's just a 10 or 20 moving zones, this is still significantly better than what the base arena has really ever been. And an important note is that teams will be treated as a single unit. All team members will gain and lose progress equally based on team eliminations and team placement is calculated at the end of the match. So essentially, your team's rank will be determined by the highest ranked player on the team. So if you've got someone that's gold one and a gold two on playing duos, then they'll matchmake as the gold one as this is the higher rank and you'll play against similarly ranked teams. With the way that this matchmaking works, I am slightly concerned that lower tier players may pay higher tier players to be part of their team to boost them and rank them up in competitive. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed that's not going to happen. It probably will. And I'm sure we'll see a ton of bans if we see those services start to be sold. But what game modes is it available in? As you see, it says standard battle royale, solos, duos, and then squads, and then zero build, and it'll only be in zero build duos. Now, you may be sitting wondering, Battle Royale, it's not its own little playlist. And this is something we'll have to come back to in a second. But yes, there is now no longer a split mode, which means that loot pools are going to be very similar. And from what I can tell down below here in the blog post, as you can see here, it says material caps will be decreased from 999 to 500. Harvesting rates will be slightly increased. So the faster harvesting rate that competitive is used to. And players will drop 50 material for each when they're eliminated. So what this means is essentially the pubs settings are going to be basically one to one with what the actual tournament settings are going to be or the ranked settings are going to be. However, if you're just playing pubs, this really doesn't make that much of a difference. It's actually probably going to be more beneficial because faster harvesting rates and materials dropped on Elim is significantly good. However, you may notice one thing that is not on this list, which currently is Siphon. There is no mention of Siphon anywhere in this list. And if you don't know what that is, that's when you eliminate an opponent, you gain 50 HP or shield back, which has been a staple of competitive for almost, what, four or five years. 
and it is no longer in this. So if you play the ranked mode, you're essentially playing ranked pubs without Siphon, which is, in my opinion, a big fat L. I definitely hope to see that changed in the future because the game is significantly less fun without Siphon. If you're just starting a new account, you have to finish a specific quest, which is outlast 500 opponents before you can actually play rank. So that'll take you about six or seven games if you do reasonably well. If you're really poo-poo, then maybe that'll take you 10, 11, 12 games before you can actually start jumping into ranked matches. There will be in-game rewards. Essentially, for every single one you get to, you're going to get uh, an emote. So, yay, emotes. Now, they've not specifically stated what rank you're going to need to be able to get to get into specific tournaments, like I mentioned, FNCS next season. So I'm guessing they're going to announce that next season. However, they did mention that your rank, among other factors, will be an ed will be eligible, though I can't even speak, an eligible, I can't say that word, eligibility requirement for epic hosted tournaments. So they've even mentioned this includes tournaments for cosmetic prizes like Icon Series Cups, as well as tournaments for cash season prizes, so FNCS, cash cups. So what this means is if you're wanting to compete in essentially anything, playing ranked will be an important part of your day. So it seems like they're trying to encourage players of all levels to get into competitive, get into ranked, be it either zero build or of course the regular core game mode, which in my opinion is an overall positive. Most games don't exist in the long term if there's not some sort of competitive player base to come back to so encouraging all levels and all players to get into ranked a very big w in my eyes as it mentioned here it says the specific rank requirement for a given tournament will be listed in the official rules for that tournament so we'll have to wait until we see what the rules are next season for fncs to see what rank you need to be in to be eligible for this tournament now one thing that they do mention here which is a bit of concern which says you can expect all of the loot and other gameplay features that are enabled in traditional battle royale and zero build to be enabled in ranked c Season zero as we continue to monitor and evaluate the ranked player experience. Now, what this essentially means is all of the loot that's currently in pubs and zero build will also be in the ranked version of these modes. Now, if you've noticed this season, Epic have focused specifically on keeping the loot pools very similar, keeping things in like ODM gears, kinetic blades, and trying to match the competitive experience as much as possible to the pub experience. And now it seems to be very clear why is because they're just going to have a full one-to-one -one loot pool for it comes to the new ranked mode. As I mentioned in a previous video, I'm not necessarily against this. I mean, I am against this, but I'm not against it if they actually put competitive first and balance things for competitive and then put them into pubs, which with all of the large collaborations in game, uh, I don't think they're going to do that. So I am expecting some broken stuff to continue to be in competitive going forward. However, one note that's very, very weird in this that I would love to get some clarification on. It says, please note, epic hosted tournaments will continue to have different loot and other gameplay features than other matches. Now, now, this essentially means that tournaments are going to be different from ranked mode, which doesn't really necessarily make that much sense because how are you meant to practice with scrims and just rank mode in general for tournaments? Where are the scrims going to be? There's no arena mode. How are you meant to replicate these similar settings? So hopefully they have that figured out relatively early into the tournament, hopefully with some customization options, but that isn't necessarily mentioned in this blog post, so we'll have to wait and see. Now, this rank mode will, of course, be released on Tuesday, which will be the 24.2 update, as I've already mentioned, and I'm going to be covering a ton of content with this. Leave some ideas down below in which ways you want me to try and play the solo battle royale mode and see how high I can get up in the ranks. And of course, like, subscribe, peace.